Hello and welcome back. Okay, so today I wanted to cover a little topic uh, about mathematics. Now, I know that I'm kind of trailing off. Uh, I unloaded a lot of videos before Christmas and then I just I pretty much haven't done very much other than the battery wrapping video. And that's because I'm, I'm just taking a little break right now. I've, I've got work to do. To be honest, I've got work to do, and uh, YouTube is not is is it doesn't pay the bills. Actually, I haven't even got paid from YouTube. So, <laughs> but um, I do plan to carry on with that. Uh, I did want to make a developer video today, and I might actually make um another one later down the road. Uh, probably one going over a video game again I don't know if I'm gonna do an Android one again this this week or the coming next week but I did want to talk about what mathematics you need to be a web developer algebra 2 all right we're done no but seriously seriously you, you algebra 2 is like the highest you need for mathematics uh, for being a web developer, let me very be very very specific. For being a web developer, well, let's put it like this. All right, there are people who call themselves WordPress developers, and all they really do is go into settings and upload a new theme, and that's it. And all they did before was select a theme on a theme outlet, paid for the theme, uploaded the theme, got paid as a developer. So in other words, they got paid tens, hundreds, maybe even thousands to do this person's website uh, like they were an actual developer and all they did was go get a theme so that that's like the bare minimum and that's that's kind of why I feel icky when I touch WordPress is because that's a possibility in WordPress that kind of makes me feel uncomfortable and disgusted inside but that doesn't mean that the WordPress people are bad people it's just I don't like it when people call themselves something they shouldn't really call themselves. If you're going to be a developer, you need to know the code. But beyond that, Algebra 2, which is, uh, let's, uh, Algebra 1 is x plus 3 equals 5, which means that x is 2, right? So that's, that's Algebra 1. Uh, algebra 2, uh, 3x plus uh, 5y yeah, divided by 2 equals 12 plus 4x. Subtract the 4x, right? Um, so you got. 12 plus x equals 5y divided by 2. Multiply both sides by 2 so we can get rid of the 2, which is 24 plus 2x equals 5y. And you can't solve it any further because there's an unknown variable on both sides okay that that is uh, <clears throat> that is algebra 2 um, there's actually quite a bit more to algebra 2 that's a extreme oversimplification uh, I'm actually gonna leave a link down in the bottom uh, to a great great YouTube channel for if you don't know algebra 2 um, but if you don't want to just watch YouTube channels and you want to go and like practice the stuff, uh, Khan Academy has to be the best resource for that type of thing. Because not only do they give you the videos to teach you, but they also give you the practice worksheets and whatnot. 
Now, let's defend my decision because there's probably going to be a few programmers that are like, no, no, you need to know this and you need to know that. No, 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 no. For every day web development application, you need to know algebra and if you are doing any type of back-end work that requires processing data, then you need to know Big O Notation. And Big O Notation is super easy to understand. And the reason why you need to know Big O Notation is because it tells you how well your algorithm is working and lets you know whether you can actually improve your algorithm or not. Um, algebra pretty much handles most of the cases. Uh, you only need like calculus whenever you're trying to figure out the trajectory of a circle. Uh, and this, this, this deals with like game development, you know, you need to know how the diameter of the ping pong ball and where it's going, you know? So that's that's where you need to know calculus and trigonometry and all the other different maths is when you're actually developing games you need to know quite a bit of mathematics if you are doing it from scratch because believe it or not you can go do an RPG maker and know absolutely almost zilch about mathematics in the first place and you can make an RPG game um, and there are certain softwares like Blender where you don't actually need to know the mathematics. You just need to tie the strings together and say, this is an interactable object, you know? Uh, so yeah, for anything beyond web development, you do need to know higher maths. Okay. Now let's talk about data processing, right? So what happens if you're a back-end engineer and you're dealing with a whole bunch of data? Well, then you need to know discrete mathematics, which I believe requires a little bit of calculus. I actually haven't uh, had to learn discrete mathematics yet because I haven't needed to use it. Um, but discrete mathematics is just basically mathematics specifically designed for computers. Uh, it, it's, it's our mathematics it's the most useful part of our mathematics for computers right so and beyond that um yeah you just need to know algebra too because uh, you have this many users trying to access this many resources and you only have this many things to deal with that's that's algebra two right there because you're dealing with two variable finite things you, you, uh, what I mean by variable is that the number changes but it's finite because the thing themselves don't change right so you may have five customers but it's still a customer okay so you know you're you're dealing with mostly purchasing stuff advertising stuff or the most common type of website out there is the about me contact and what now what else uh the home about me contact me right that is the most common website out there today um sure you could have things like capital one's website which requires a login you could have a news website which would require a login oh wait a minute we have plugins that deal with the math behind those. All we just all we have to do is properly use the plugins. See what I mean? You don't actually need to know most of mathematics because there are plenty of people who develop e these things that already know the mathematics. But if you want to be those ma those people who know the mathematics behind it, then yes, you need to go up and beyond uh, in in algebra two. Uh, if you want to learn anything about cryptology, then yeah, you, you want to go all the way up to freaking quantum physics because they're trying to figure out the cryptology for quantum physics now. Because th three theoretically, um, given enough years, we're going to get to the point where we have 
that type of technology. Now, I don't know about the VR web. The VR web may be a little bit different, but um, that kind of looks like you might you might need to know a little bit of mathematics because essentially the VR web allows you to it allows you to interact with a web page such as you have a VR headset on and you can get in the car on the website rather than just see the car on the website so you might need to know a little bit of mathematics for that, but I have a feeling that there are going to be plenty of JavaScript packages and the mathematics isn't going to be too difficult. <coughs> but yeah, I mean, that's it. Algebra 2. And the reason why I'm suggesting Algebra 2 is because it's a little bit more complicated and therefore you can handle most of the complicated cases, right? If you, if you ever want to know what type of mathematics you need to learn, go to a Code Challenge website. Go to a Code Challenge website, and guess what? If you run into an equation that you just don't understand, odds are you need to learn that type of mathematics. I mean, the first one, the first type of loop requires you to learn Algebra 1. So... Algebra 2 is pretty much it for web development. Anything that deals with computer development that isn't web development is like program development, such as on a game or uh, a rocket program. Yeah, you're going to need some mathematics. But anything that's just text-based, really, the highest you're ever going to need is Algebra 2. All right, so that's it for this video, and uh, I'll see you next week. Or sooner. I don't know. I haven't gotten down to making a schedule yet. Don't look at me that way. <laughs>